Hi, my name is Barb Grzwinski. I'm one of the nutritionists here at CP Feeds. I'm going to be talking about heifer maturity matters. Diamond V did a study. Um, Dr. Staley looked at 456,000 cows in 174 herds, and he made some interesting observations. The first observation was that for some reason, the first lactation milk curve at 10 weeks tends to be what the milk tank, the milk tank average is. So if at 10 weeks, your milk production for your first lactation is 92 pounds of milk, your annual milk tank average tends to be 92 pounds of milk. The second observation he made was based on the first lactation curve, at five weeks, your second lactation tends to be 30 pounds more than your first lactation, and your third plus lactation is eight to 10 pounds more than your second lactation. So the big picture means that your first lactation curve dictates your milk tank, and it also dictates how the rest of your herd does. His third observation was there is a difference in the curve and how old the heifers are when they calve in. I think we've all known that, but some herds, the difference is quite dramatic. Observation four, the animals that calve early and milk less first lactation also milk less second lactation. And the difference is a lot of milk lost because the heifer was not mature when she calved in. And the observation five was, it also carries on to the other lactations. It's not just the first or the second, but also goes on to her other lactations that she is always behind her herd mates that calved in mature. So I've looked at a couple herds in our area. This particular graph shows the classic herd. The youngest animals had the lowest curve and the oldest animals had the highest curve which means if he would have waited three more months, he would have had a lot more milk, first lactation and subsequent lactations. Something to think about if you're looking at your first lactation animals and judging who you should cull, are you just culling her because you calved her early and she didn't milk a lot that lactation? That it wasn't her genetics, but it was that she was not mature enough when she calved in. Second slide I have is a little bit more interesting, the curves are close together. The lowest curve is actually older heifers. What happened on this herd was two years ago, the, he was really struggling with calf health. So the calves that he held on to calved later did poorer than the healthy calves. So then you have to consider, look what happens when she is sick. And this curve shows that now, and that we'd, we've always kind of known it, but to see the milk loss is very dramatic. So the solution, we need to make sure that they calve at a mature weight. So mean body weight of third and fourth lactation cows, you take the average of those animals in that lactation, 80 to 120 days in milk, and your springer should weigh 95% of the mean body weight before they calve or 85% after they calve. We really need to look at this because there is a lot of milk to be had. If the first lactation curve dictates your milk tank, if you're looking for a higher milk tank average, we need to work on the heifers. So if you have any questions, contact your CP nutritionist and they can run these graphs for you so you can see where you fall in these curves and if there's something that you can do with your heifer management to improve your bulk tank average. Thanks and have a good day.